Hey, welcome back to this little video. So we're gonna finish assembling the Challenge Targets Elite Swinger. So this is a swinger that has a little mini three paddle Texas Star on one side and then a standard swinger on the other side. So as you knock the plates off, it's gonna start giving a bunch of different variations on the way that it moves. Um, I did a little live stream um, putting all the miscellaneous pieces together. It comes all broke apart in three boxes. So anyways, I figured we'd uh, jump into this and get this project finished. So let's grab this base and get going here. All right, so this is their base. And you take the plate, just bolt it on, got a little support. So it should keep it in good shape. I did notice, so this is pretty cool. It's actually got an adjustment here. So if you're on uneven terrain, you can raise and lower the backside and get it evened out. And then you've got uh, stake points that you attach to each of the legs. So should be a pretty cool system once it's all up and, up and going here. I think this will be a good spot. All right, so here's the uh, main piece of it. So we already got the top plate attached. I went ahead and double checked all my bolts. I seem to be pretty solid. And um, this just uh, sets on here. And it should have enough weight that it'll stay fairly well in place there. Nice. And then we just throw on some uh, bolts and nuts. Easy enough. Guess if we don't miss the holes, that's what she said. I think we're going to cinch up the back and then I can just lay it down and get that middle bolt. And now the third one, we'll just lay her back. Okay, all right, so that's pretty solid. This is gonna be tricky for me to do on my own here, but I think I can get it done. So next we're gonna mount the center, this guy right here. So it does have a, a groove on this plate that I mounted to the back. That groove is obviously gonna line up here. Okay. All right, so that'll give us our side-to-side -side swing into action. Okay, so next recommended step is gonna be to do the side here. And this will be the attachment that holds, uh, holds the plate. So we'll take a look at that. So this is what you would see from the front side. All right, and then back side, we've got our three hangers. And they're all gonna be spring-loaded. So this is all attached, ready to go. And very similar to the center hub, downside here is going to be how everything will want to be swinging on me. Okay, let's see if we can maneuver this to be a one person. So let it come down and rest on your knee. If you have to do this by yourself, the manual will recommend two people, and I can easily see why. That would definitely make this considerably less difficult okay then we're gonna have to use leverage on this piece to get this tightened down so i'm pulling on one of these arms while i'm pushing with the wrench <clears throat> we'll try it on this side pull with the wrench and push on the star i think they call it a propeller <clears throat> Okay, all right, now that's good and it's free. Okay, now to put the, uh, the actual swinger for the paper targets. It looks like this is gonna go on first. It's gonna go with the weight to the back and the, uh, the locks. So everything smaller hardware wise is gonna go rearward, but this is going to go on and then this bushing will go on the outside of it. Let's see how balanced that'll be. Okay, 
So that works pretty good. So I'm guessing that this is just to allow it to lock in and spin freely. Okay. Man, we're almost there. Okay. All right. I think we're in pretty good shape here now. Make sure all these others are tight. Oh yeah. I think I did a fairly, fairly decent job assembling all of this. That's good. That's good. Alrighty, I think we're in good shape here. Okay, last piece we need are gonna be two 40 inch long strips uh, from these one by twos. You know, pretty common used in everything. So we'll just uh, zip this off real quick. Okay, so just cinch those down, lock them in with these uh, wing head screws back here. And I'm trying to get them very tight so that it will lock them in pretty hard because this is going to be swinging quite a bit. Okay, all right, so now we've got our swinger. And see, so when it, it's moving, it's moving in front of where these plates are. But you can already start to see that how it is going to move in different directions. So we got back and forth, up and down from the seesaw action here. And it's all gonna depend on kind of what order you knock these plates off in and how they're spinning. All right, so I've sprayed down the uh, plates, just the front side. We'll go ahead and put a, pop them in and uh, take a look at it. Okay, let's let that get in place and drop down. So obviously I did not give these enough time to dry, but not a big deal. If you've dealt with steel targets, you know painting them just as uh, it's gonna get knocked off anyway, so they don't have to be purdy. Let's see, let's go this way. There we go. So their, uh, their clamp system on the back, it's not quite as good as like the, the Shoot Steel Texas Star, but it's totally gonna work and be effective for this. <clears throat> okay, so obviously I need to throw on a cardboard and then I can put some barrels up and we can make this a, uh, a definite tricky little stage. So here, let's take a look at it. So checking her out from the front. Looks all nice and pretty. This is this will be the before misses start hitting on it. But from the back side here, so these springs, they'll all stay put. That's gonna spin just fine and plates are gonna stay in place. Like I said, this is a very beefy setup here. All these big double bearing rollers. And, uh, and then here we've got, got this, so should work out pretty well. Okay, so we're gonna give this a test, I guess. I've got you set at a little bit of an offset. We're gonna go the first run with um, just target as it is, and then I'll move the barrels over and see how that looks. I'm gonna go off the beep. I'm not really too worried about my time. I've not practiced at all for like two weeks now at this point. Uh, too many projects going on. So anyways, let's run back and give this a couple shots. I'm gonna go back to about 10 yards and uh, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so first test run works. So I didn't get too good of a swing on that one. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to uh, Make some adjustments, which is typical for most any kind of a moving target. You've got to get it initially set up. 
and then there's uh, several adjustments to be made to it. All right, so let's see uh, kind of what happens if I just knock off one at a time and give it a little more time to, uh, to roll here. There we go. Now it's jiggling. Shouldn't have waited that long. There we go. All right, so that time I let it get moving a bit and uh, you can see I got, got one load there. There we go. Oop, ran myself empty there. Okay, so as you can see, that definitely upped the uh, difficulty. So yeah, that definitely ups the difficulty once it gets moving there. I was trying to go for a headshot here. I got huh, one, one good shot, that was my second shot. First shot was way over here, and then uh, I did manage to get a couple here in the body and one in the down one zone on this IDPA uh, target style. So getting there, a little more practice. Obviously that's what I got it for. But overall I think it's going to end up being a fun little target uh, for my range out here. So hey, if you had a good time getting a look at this uh, elite swinger from Challenge Targets, I'd appreciate it if you liked this video, share it with anybody that you think might get a kick out of it and subscribe down below. I've always got some fun stuff in the works and I'd love to have you along with me here. So thanks for stopping by and checking out this video with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.